Welcome to Bagel News Network 6 AM News. This news is sponsored by... Great news! Spectra Plus is now rolling out internet and TV services in St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yes, better service and better prices from the new and improved Spectra Plus. Spectra Plus TV plans for $59.99 per month. That included adult TV three channels plus $29.99. For more information, call 1784-534-2551 or 1784 1784- 532-2501 Fast, reliable broadband and television services for your home or business. Spectra Plus TV Internet. Better! Looking for that one-stop shop for all your hair and beauty needs? Then come to the beauty shop. The beauty shop. We are located in the former Black Cat Bar building in Kingstown. We have in stock LA Girl makeup, palettes, eyelashes, human hair wigs and weaves, super X and expression braids, Brazilian weaves, wool and much more. We have hair accessories for dreadlocks and braids and also for the children. We are also offering a 12% discount for barbers, hairdressers and nail technicians. So come in today at the one-stop shop, the beauty shop, the beauty shop. Get all your hair and beauty supplies as well as manicures, pedicures and waxing. Come visit us at the beauty shop in the former Black Cat Bar building or call us at 485-6943. That's 485-6943. The Beauty Shop. The Beauty Shop. Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell Shell 20 pounds in cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree Bar. And now the news. Bacall is a not-for-profit group of British American and Clico policyholders led by Dr. Patrick Ambuan. It was formed in Grenade in 2013 with the main objective of giving those policyholders a fair shot at reversing the injustice and ignominy that they have had to endure since the collapse of British American Insurance Co. LTV and Clico in 2009. Policyholders have reported a measurable negative emotional, physical, professional, reputational and financial impacts as a result of the alliteration of their investments. In some cases, this loss represented entire life savings. Police are investigating the report of burglary made a 55 years old supervisor of North Union on 33.2021. Preliminary investigations reveal that some unknown person has entered the dwelling house of the virtual complainant as a trespasser and stole a quantity of electronic items value $320121ECC and $35000ECC in cash. The incident occurred at North Union on 243.2021. The police are soliciting information from the general public that will aid with this investigation and the arrest and prosecution of the offender asked to contact the assistant commissioner in charge crime at 1784-456-1339 or the officer in charge of the South Central Division at 1784-458-4200 or any police station slash officer that you are comfortable with. All information will be treated confidentially. Police have arrested and charged Dennis Galizio, 26 years old mechanic slash mason of Union Island with possession of criminal property on 33.2021. According to investigations carried out, the accused man allegedly had in his possession $36020000 USD which he knows or suspects in whole or in part directly or indirectly represents the proceeds of criminal conduct. The incident occurred at Mayro on 35.2020. Galizo is expected to appear before the serious offenses court to answer the charge. St. Vincent and the Grenadines reported a total of nine new positive cases on Tuesday, March 30, 2021. 
Eight cases are from 149 samples collected and tested on Monday, March 29, 2021, giving a positivity rate of 5.4%. One case is from some of the samples collected and tested on Tuesday, March 30th. Five of these cases are contacts of known COVID-19 positive cases and four are persons with symptoms suggestive of COVID-19 seeking care. No new recoveries were reported, leaving the number of total recoveries at 1,587, 151, 151 cases remain active and 10 persons with COVID-19 have died. 1,748 cases of COVID-19 have been reported in St. Vincent and the Grenadines since March 2020. Grenada and St. Vincent and the Grenadines are nations that are well known for their natural beauty and rich biodiversity. Perhaps some of the most remarkable features, however, can be found at the uninhabited offshore islands in the Grenadines which are infrequently visited by people and often difficult to access. Here you will find tens of thousands of seabirds nesting on uninhabited islands which are present in regionally and even globally important populations. During nesting season, the islands and surrounding waters come alive with a flurry of activity, with seabirds socializing, fishing, building nests and raising chicks in a pattern that has been repeated every year for thousands of years. Wanted Ronald Ginger Mather and the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force is carrying out investigations into several reports of burglary and theft where the subject is a person of interest. Subject is a Vincentian national who is to be approached with caution. The police is soliciting your assistance in locating the subject. If seen, please contact any police station or assistant commissioner of police in charge of crime at telephone 456-1339 or 457-1211-X217 or officer in charge at slash crow slash aku at 456-1810 or 457-1211-X216-220 or officer in charge South Central Division at 458-4200. Calls would be treated confidentially. Vaccinated to reduce the spread of COVID-19 in St. Vincent and the Grenadines scattered showers will continue to linger around St. Vincent and the Grenadines today and tonight. By early Thursday morning, a shoreline will be located over the northern wind wards and will likely result in an increase in cloud cover over SVG and a few scattered showers during Thursday. A few showers are forecast around Friday morning with fair to occasionally cloudy skies throughout the day. Moderate showers are possible by Friday night into Saturday. Aline Horn, a teacher, took to Facebook Live to plead with persons to stop circulating the video and to share her explanation of what had happened. She said that she was raped and beaten by a man who she had been dating but broke off the relationship after she found out that they were close relatives. Horn said that the man had known all along about their biological relationship. She said she was not the woman in the video circulating last week engaging in anal sex with a man. She, however, said that the man had raped her and Ali. Nadia Lawrence's 38-year-old security guard has been remanded to prison until April 13, as senior magistrate Ricky Burnett decides her sentence for emptying her 78-year-old grandmother's bank accounts of at $40,513.45 in cash. Noah Lawrence, a retired caterer, had placed her granddaughter, Nadia Lawrence's name to her accounts in the event that the older woman fell ill with a salary of about at $600 a month and at $200 in savings at a credit union. Nadia is facing a prospect of a prison sentence either immediately or if she is unable to pay compensation. And now the regional news. Ministers and Secretaries of Agriculture of 14 Caribbean countries related some of the dramatic consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic in the region, listed new challenges in strengthening food production and emphasized the support that the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture ICA, had provided in the fight against food and nutritional insecurity in 2020, a year that had crippled tourism, the engine of Caribbean economies. The high-level authorities were participating in AICA's virtual 2020 Regional Accountability Seminar, which gave an overview of the hemispheric organization's actions to support the Caribbean productive sector. Announcements were also made about new initiatives and the agricultural authorities held a frank discussion about difficulties stemming from COVID-19, indicating that the technical assistance received had been invaluable. 
Brazil's Jair Bolsonaro is facing the biggest crisis of his presidency after the heads of the Army, Navy and Air Force all quit and the country recorded its highest daily COVID-19 death toll. The unprecedented resignation of the defense chiefs is being seen as a protest at attempts by Mr. Bolsonaro to exert a new control over the military. Mr. Bolsonaro's popularity has plummeted over his response to COVID-19. Nearly 314,000 people have died, with a new daily record of 3,780 on Tuesday. St. Lucia Labour Party SLP leader, Philip J. Pierre Tuesday urged that elections be called now as he criticized the Alan Chastain administration over what was described as the National Insurance Corporation Nick Cabot loan fiasco. Pierre spoke at a news conference. People's National Movement PNM Tobago Council political leader Tracy Davidson Celestini says the people of Tobago will have to decide how they treat with allegations surrounding Progressive Democratic Patriots PDP leader and Public Services Association SOP President Watson Duke. Speaking with reporters at the Sherman Housing Development site yesterday, Davidson Celestini said, at the end of the day, the people will have to decide whether they want Watson Duke to continue in office as a member of the Tobago House of Assembly and the leader of the SOP because we are all seeing what is being played out in the public domain. A female police officer is among three people charged with gun trafficking following the discovery of a firearm with ammunition and a silencer at a house where the trio resided. Colonel Ann McEachney, an acting police inspector attached to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service TTPS Police Band, was granted bail in the sum of TD $20 as $2.943, with a surety, when she appeared before Magistrate Grand Penandade at the Rima Magistrate's Court. She will reappear in court on April 23rd, along with co-accused Cindy Gonzalez who was granted bail in the sum of TD $20 as $2.943, with a surety or TD $5 as $735.94 cash bail. The third accused, Jagari Miranda, was remanded in custody. All three reside at residence in Rima, where police allegedly found a Bulgarian Makarov .380 pistol fitted with a magazine and three rounds of .380 ammunition and a firearm silencer. Caribbean Airlines is the first regional air carrier to be awarded platinum certification by Apex Health Safety powered by Simpla Flying for its efforts in ensuring the highest standards of cleanliness and sanitization for its customers' health and wellness when traveling. The certification was granted following a comprehensive month-long audit of the airline's COVID-19 protocols. Caribbean Airlines platinum status means that customers can be assured that the airline's practices throughout their journey from check-in to arrival at their destination has met and surpassed global benchmarks for customer-centric safety standards. The audit was verified through a program that provides scientifically based validation for airlines to reach beyond even the governmental requirements for safety. The airline joins the ranks of carriers like Air Canada, Delta, Etihad and Virgin Atlantic who have also obtained certification. We move to the international news. The Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture ICA, and the Climate Smart Agriculture Youth Network CSAYN will strengthen knowledge exchange between the Americas and Africa to promote rural well-being, agricultural productivity, food security and the rational use of natural resources by way of an agreement that will also foster dialogue between young Americans and Africans living in rural areas. These actions will be defined within the framework of the Technical Cooperation Agreement signed by AICA, the international organization specialized in agricultural and rural development, and CSAYN, an organization of volunteers from Africa, Asia, the United States and Europe based in Cameroon, which seeks to raise awareness among young people and vulnerable groups of the importance of agriculture as part of the solution to fight against climate change. AIQ and CSAYN will join efforts to guarantee the development of sustainable agriculture as an opportunity to increase the well-being of young people and populations vulnerable to climate variability. A man has been fined $9,080.59 over online news directed at a Japanese reality star who took her own life last year, prosecutors say. Reports say the name and posted messages on Haneke Mara's social media account about her awful personality and asking when will you die. Kamara, 22, was the target of hundreds of abusive tweets from fans and critics on a daily basis. The reality show, Terrace House, was cancelled after her death in May.
Terrace House, co-produced by Japan's FUJIPP and distributed by Netflix, was popular among global audiences before its cancellation. Police in the US have arrested a man suspected of attacking an Asian American woman in New York City, kicking her repeatedly in the stomach as witnesses appeared to only watch. The 65-year-old woman was admitted to hospital with serious injuries. CCTV video from Monday appeared to show staff of a nearby building watching without intervening. Police said Brandon Elliott had been charged with attempted assault as a hate crime. This had been the Old News Network 6 p.m. news. This news was sponsored by... Great news! Spectra Plus is now rolling out internet and TV services in St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yes, better service and better prices from the new and improved Spectra Plus. Spectra Plus TV plans for $59.99 per month. That included adult TV three channels plus $29.99. For more information, call 1784-534-2551 or 1784-532-2501. Fast, reliable broadband and television services for your home or business. Spectra Plus TV Internet Better. Looking for that one-stop shop for all your hair and beauty needs? Then come to the beauty shop, the beauty shop. We are located in the former Black Cat Bar building in Kingstown. We have in stock Ellie Girl makeup, palettes, eyelashes, human hair wigs and weaves, super X and expression braids, Brazilian weaves, wool and much more. We have hair accessories for dreadlocks and braids and also for the children. We are also offering a 12% discount for barbers, hairdressers and nail technicians. So come in today at the one-stop shop, the beauty shop, the beauty Shop, get all your hair and beauty supplies, as well as manicures, pedicures, and waxing. Come visit us at the beauty shop in the former Black Cat Bar building or call us at 485 6943. That's 485 6943. The beauty shop. The beauty shop. Looking for a place to relax with natural cool breeze and friendly surroundings? Then check the Bay Hill Tree Bar, located at Bay Hill Cane Garden. We have everything a bar will have. We also sell Shell 20 pounds a cooking gas at the Bay Hill Tree Bar.